The situation across the country, Kenyans grappling with flooding following heavy rains that continue to pound the country. In Bomet County, a woman and her child were last evening swept away by raging floods after River Nyangores burst its banks. The same script replicated in Taita Taveta County where a 96-year-old man died after raging flood swept away his home in Kimala Taveta constituency. Confirming the incident, Taita Taveta County Commander Fred Uchieng said the man was shielding himself when the incident happened. So far, four people have died as a result of floods in the country. The death toll nationally now standing at 10 according to the Kenya Red Cross. Areas that have experienced floods are Nyeri County, Margarini in Kilifi County, Emali in Kajiado County, Salama in Makueni County, Mukuru Kwa Ruben in Nairobi, as well as Narok in Marsabit counties. The Water Resources Authority urging Kenyans to take advantage of the rains after a prolonged dry season in the country. But what, what can we do as a human being? What can, as a country, what can we do? What we can do is to make sure that we store this water, the flood water, properly. Meanwhile, the government has received 55,000 bags of rice from China to be distributed to millions of Kenyans facing starvation. The containers are going straight to the SGR and being dispatched. And those that will remain here will also be dispatched immediately. So ours is to uh, assure Kenyans that we have enough food, even as the rain starts. More than 3 million Kenyans are in dire need of relief food following the prolonged drought.